Well, the thought is that uh, we imagine that your brain gets transplanted into my head and that the resulting person who looks like me uh, has, by virtue of having your brain, your psychology. So it's got your memories and your beliefs and your preferences and your sense of humor and all of those things. So it, uh, this person is convinced, at first anyway, that he's you uh, and so on. And isn't that, uh, the argument goes, a good reason to think that he would be right and that he would be you. So that putting your brain into my head wouldn't give me uh, a new brain, but it would rather give you a new body, so to speak. And the uh, relation to animalism is this. This doesn't seem to be a case in which uh, an animal is mo it moves from your head to my head, uh, that it gets pared down to a, to, a, to, to a naked brain and moved across the room and put into my, installed in my skull. It looks like a case in which uh, an organ moves from one animal to another. All right, so the organism just stays behind and gets an empty head. This organism uh, has its brain removed and replaced with yours. So it's the same uh, as a liver transplant as far as, as far as the animals go. So if animalism is true, uh, it seems to follow that you wouldn't go with your transplanted brain and that putting your brain into my head would just give me a new brain and a lot of false autobiographical beliefs and it would give you an empty head. And that might sound rather implausible uh, 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 because it seems that well, particularly if you think about it from the first person point of view, I suppose. Uh, yes, exactly why it seemed to be so compelling is, I think, an interesting, an interesting question. Uh, 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 but I mean, you can imagine all sorts of other bodily transformations, and you could imagine surviving through them because your because there's psychological continuity, because you remain conscious and your thoughts continue and so on and so forth. So that makes it possible to imagine it. And it's, it it's the same in this case. It's, it, 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 it might seem possible to, to imagine it. Yes, I suppose if you think about it in a, in a, in a different way, it, it, it may not seem so obvious that you would go with your transplanted brain. I mean, you could imagine uh, having a very bad brain disease of some sort so that, you, so that you're going to die. And the only way that they can, that, that they can uh, uh, cure you of this disease is to replace some large part of your brain, uh, perhaps the whole of your brain. And of course, this would be a very drastic treatment, and you might not agree to it, because you would lose all of your knowledge and all of your memories and, and, uh, and all that was important to you. But you might think that's maybe not quite as bad as dying of brain cancer. Uh, and you can imagine that somebody might want to have the treatment. So, uh, 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 because they would think that surviving with complete psychological discontinuity is perhaps better than not surviving at all. But that's, that, that's, that that's, doesn't seem a completely crazy and misguided thought. And if that's right, then it's not completely obvious that uh, removing your brain means that you would go with the brain rather than staying behind.